Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Man, winter is just around the corner and it is cold already. The high today is 23. I'm miserable, I won't lie. The shop has a lot of stuff in it. You got a concrete floor that gets to that 23 degree temperature. All the toolboxes and tools, all the equipment that's in here, everything cools down overnight to room temperature and that would be 23 degrees in this case. Well, when I come out here in the morning, it is impossible to heat this place. If you stand close to this beautiful unit, yeah, you got this King Circulator that I've had for about four years now, a good wood-burning wood -burning stove, but it doesn't reach all the way into the other bay there, so it gets colder the farther away you get from this thing. Now, I have a torpedo heater that I picked up that runs on kerosene or diesel, and I have some kerosene heaters that I've had out here, but kerosene's really expensive and diesel's not that far behind it. So I prefer to continue heating with something that I have here on the property for free, and that is firewood. So I looked around and I came up with this. This is the Miracle Heat Reclamation System. You can see it over there. I've got it rough installed. I'm running it today to make sure I like it. And so far, I do like it. Uh, the idea behind this is a large portion, about 40%, 30 to 40%, depending on your wood-burning stove, of the heat that's generated by burning that wood actually goes up through the flue and out the chimney. And it's not hard to see this in day-to-day -day use. You can walk outside here and look, and if you see that beautiful rippling of hot air, that's waste. And I hate waste. So, picking up one of these, and I'm gonna move the camera in closer so you can see what this thing does. Picking up one of these allows all that air that comes through this pipe, that hot air, it's got some vents inside of this tube and it allows extra airflow. There's a small fan, you can probably hear it running right now, there's a small fan that sits behind it. It's thermostatically controlled, so it's kind of automatic. It comes on when the temperature starts to come up and blows that extra hot air. So it allows the temperature here to cool off from the incoming air. And I'll get a thermometer here and I'll show you just how much of a difference it's making. You can hear it just kick on right there. And that's the beauty of it. This thing here, if you look inside, you can see, hopefully on camera, there's four tubes that pass right through the center of this heat pipe. And there's a fan that's thermostatically controlled. That's what just kicked on when I walked over here. So as the temperature is warm enough, it's going to continue to blow air across this. And so all that captured heat, all that wasted heat, while it's not 100% efficient still, it allows a lot of that to come through here. Now I've got a, a thermal uh, temperature gauge here. And you can see the bottom right now, we're at 440 degrees at the base of this. And on the other side here, we're at 360, so some of that heat is getting pushed out, about 100 degrees worth, and that air is then generated and flowing across the garage here to help heat the back side over there where it matters the most. Now this isn't going to be some long-term solution to, a, uh, you know, to heating my shop, but it is a way to get extra value out of the firewood you're burning, and it's especially important if you're heating a house or if you're having to pay to have firewood brought in, and I'm lucky enough that you know, I have lumber on the property that I can chop up. Stuff that falls every year uh, usually keeps me pretty well set up for the year. But there it is, the Magic Heat. A um, little over a hundred bucks I think I paid, and I did get it on Amazon, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I was also lucky height-wise. Um, you know, it needs to be, I think I could have gone about that far down, but I had a pipe that was cut in half. I just took that out and this fit in the place perfectly, so I didn't have to do a whole lot of adjustments, which is really nice, because these pipes they're kind of old, they're a little bit rusty, and I didn't really want to have to deal with buying new pipes. Uh, that's it, I just want to show, with winter coming up, the old King Circulator is still kicking it. I just wanted to show you a way to maybe squeeze that extra couple hundred BTU out of your wood-burning stove, and this is certainly a pretty cool way to do so. That's it for tonight, my friends. Take care.